Okay. Um, I'm putting this video at this point right now. If we were in class, I would have said, I'd like you to find the angle between these two vectors. Okay? And that's what I'm going to say right now. I'm not going to talk about how to do this problem on this video. I'm going to write down my work. I'm going to put it into Schoology as a PDF. This is slide number 31. So the title of this video will be something like directions for slide number 31. Uh, and then my answer to this, I'll have it all worked out. I'll scan it and I will add it into Schoology and it'll say slide number 31. Okay, because the reason I'm doing this right now, and you should not watch the next video until you've done this. Because we just talked about dot products. Where is it at? Sorry. We just talked about dot products, and you're like, well, why did we just do that one example and move on? Dot products can be used to find the angle between two vectors. It goes a little bit quicker, okay? But you should be able to find the angle between these two vectors without dot products. You should be able to do that. I'm going to leave that to you. It clearly has something to do with the direction angles of each of these, right? Draw a good picture, find those direction angles, go to work, check Schoology for the solution.